If you've ever tried to move Windows to another drive, you may know that it is a very complicated process. Unfortunately, Windows doesn't have anything that'll do this for you built into Windows, and you have to use other programs. Now, if you've watched any videos or articles, you know that they either use multiple programs in order to get this done, or they talk about programs that have now moved one of the features behind a paywall, or there's just a million steps, and a lot of them are just cloning the entire drive. Today, however, I'm gonna show you how to do it with one program, and you can either clone the entire drive or you can move just the OS so that if you have a bunch of games installed, you don't have to reinstall them. It's just gonna move Windows over to another drive and then everything else will be left as is. What we're gonna be using is called Mini Tool Partition Wizard and we're actually gonna be using version 10, which is from 2017. This version still has everything for free, so you don't have to pay anything, you don't have to use multiple programs, everything is built directly into it. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and head to the link in the video description below, go to that link, download version 10 of Mini Tool Partition Wizard, make sure it's version 10, and then go ahead and install that. Once you get that installed, you can go ahead and launch the tool and it'll look like this. What you're gonna end up doing from here is you're gonna to go to the partition wizard free and you'll be met with this. So the nice thing about here is it also helps you identify your drives. So we're end up gonna be we're gonna be moving our windows from this disk two here, which is a team 500 gig, um, two and a half inch SSD. And we're gonna move it to this drive, which I already did as a little tester, but we're gonna redo it. And I'll show you how to actually clear the drive as well really easily in this tool. And this is gonna go to my uh, Western digital one terabyte uh, SN750. So first we're gonna have to clear this drive out. So we're gonna actually go ahead and go delete all partitions. We're gonna click yes, and then we're gonna click apply. Should be pretty quick. And now we have a fully blank drive here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to disk two. We're gonna go migrate OS to SD. And this is where you get to choose if you wanna clone the whole disk or if you just wanna migrate your OS. So we're gonna do, we just wanna move our OS. And we're gonna choose our Western Digital there. And I'm gonna do fit partitions to entire disk so that there's no un uh, unallocated space at the end because I'm moving from a 500 gig drive to a one terabyte. If I did copy partitions without a resize, there would be 500 gigabytes of unallocated space. If this were hard drives, you know, that'd be fine with a partition, um, but it's an SSD, so we're gonna keep it the way that it is. And we're gonna go ahead and click finish. So now we're gonna click apply, apply all pending changes, and it's gonna start to copy. Now, typically, depending on the speed of the drives, if you're moving from a hard drive to an SSD, or if you're moving from an SSD to a NVMe, the speeds are gonna be very different. So just keep an eye on it, you know, walk away, go eat some food, you can do whatever you want. Um, but this process will do it entirely on its own. Now, you may run into this issue where it says the copy partition cannot be uh, completed because the C drive is being in, being in use, which obviously it is because Windows is running. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do restart now. Now this is one of the best parts about this tool is that it'll actually run as its own uh, startup program and it'll entirely do this without Windows being open. So this is what allows you to migrate the OS instead of just cloning the whole drive. So we're gonna go ahead and do restart now. It's gonna restart your computer and it's going to reboot it into the partition wizard as a you know, non-GUI item. It's gonna look like DOS. So this is what it's gonna look like once it boots into the Partition Wizard pre-Windows um, OS launch. And like I said, it's gonna look a lot like DOS. You're gonna end up just taking a while for this one. It's gonna take a while, so you can go ahead and make some food. You can go ahead and watch some of my other videos if you want. Um, but once this is done, it'll restart, but it's gonna continue using the original drive because the BIOS is pointing to that original drive. So after this is done, I will show you how to change the BIOS to look at the new drive, and then we can go ahead and clean up the old one. All right, so once that's done, it's gonna end up rebooting into Windows. So if you come back to your computer and it's in Windows, you know that it finishes its operations, and then I will show you how you can double check to make sure that it copied over properly. So once you're back into Windows, you can go ahead and launch the File Explorer. And you can see these three drives here are the ones that we copied over. We can relaunch the mini tool again, launch that up. And you can see here they're set up properly. The partitions are the right sizes. 
Um, they are slightly larger. So if you can see here, the recovery is a little bit larger, but that's fine. We have 930 gigs for our C drive. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reboot through the BIOS and we're gonna tell the BIOS to look at this drive as our Windows drive instead of this drive. So you can either restart and try to hit delete quick enough in order to get into your BIOS, or you can go ahead, go to your power options, hold shift and do restart. And it's gonna bring you into this option menu. You can go ahead and click on troubleshoot, advanced options, UEFI and restart, and this will automatically reboot you into the BIOS. So it just makes it a little bit easier if you find it difficult to get into the BIOS quickly enough, or if you have a 60% board that doesn't have your function row keys or your delete key, this makes it a lot easier to get into the BIOS. So now that we're in the BIOS, don't mind the really terrible resolution because my monitor is 1440p and it's going through a capture card. It does all this weird stuff, but we're gonna go ahead and go into the boot menu here and we're gonna change the first boot option to my Windows drive, my uh, Western Digital, sorry. So we're gonna go ahead and change that. Come on, there we go. And then the team is gonna be our additional one, so that's fine uh, in case the Western Digital one fails. And now we're gonna go ahead and press F10, save and exit. And now it's going to reboot using the new drive as our Windows drive. So as you can see here, we boot it right back in. We still have our wallpaper. Uh, if we go ahead and open up the C drive, um, you can see that we're now on the new one. It's much larger, 930 gigs. Um, and we've got everything here, which is perfect. If we go ahead and go to our partition wizard, you'll see that now our drive here is all listed and this one is actually not allocated anymore. So if you do wanna clean it up, if you wanna take some files off of it, you can go ahead and do that. If you just want to be able to read off of this, you can either um, add a drive letter in this tool. So you can change the drive letter, we'll make it G. We'll apply that, say yes. And now we'll be able to see the G drive in here and we can go ahead and pull anything we want off. You can also do this directly within Windows using the partition manager. Um, but since we already have this open, it makes it very easy. You can go ahead and manage whatever you need to in here and you're all done. Um, this is just a super simple way of doing it using only one piece of software that does everything for you in a very easy way. We are using an older version, but this older version is a great piece of software. It really sucked that they updated it and put everything behind paywalls, but luckily we still have the ability to download the older ones. So I hope this video helped you out. I hoped it helped solve any of your painful issues that you were dealing with. I know that I've dealt with this a lot and I've helped a lot of people uh, when building new computers or when migrating computers over from one drive to another. So this is a super helpful tool um, and I use this all the time. If you did find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below and I will try to get to them all as quickly as possible. I want to thank my patron sponsors, Thought Slime, Step Back, and Rojo Son of Dojo, and I want to thank you for watching this video. As always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Friday.